Hi, I'm Greg Beck, and welcome to Game Crazy. You're now part of one of the most exciting industries in retail. And at Game Crazy, we strive to be one of the most exciting outlets in the business. And that starts with you, our partners. Call it what you will. Customer service, the basics, retail 101. It all comes down to your number one responsibility as a Game Crazy partner creating the Game Crazy experience. Everyone who works for Game Crazy is responsible for the experience. It's what sets Game Crazy apart from every other place to purchase video games. From the look of the store to your appearance, from the interactions with our guests to the energy in the store, it's all within your control. And it's what makes people come back to us for all their gaming needs. The product is alphabetized and it's organized so guests can easily find the title they're looking for. Gamers are getting the latest information on the titles they love. Moms are finding the perfect game for their son or daughter. It's the attention to guest needs that you won't find at a big box retailer. They don't have the time nor the expertise to offer what we can. Next, you're gonna see how to build the skills needed to make the experience happen in your store. From understanding the used business to building your new release customer base. By the time you're done today, you'll understand why the Game Crazy experience is catching fire. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Manhashan, and I'm here today to talk to you about the used games business and the trade cycle. So the first question you have is, why do we sell used games? Well, it's simple really. Used games represent a great opportunity for both our guests and our store to win inside of the same transaction. Let me walk you through the math. On the surface, you'd think that you'd want to sell the $60 new game to put $60 in the till instead of $40. Second grade math says that's the right thing to do, but the trouble is the company only gets to keep about $12 of that $60 in profit. And that's before we factor in costs like next day shipping. So our bottom line really doesn't get to see much of that guest $60 investment. With used, we keep closer to $20, even though the retail is $20 lower. Why? I could bore you with all the technical stuff, but the short answer is that our cost is lower, and there aren't shipping costs involved. What does it take to be great, then, at selling used games? Well, it's down to two things. The first is merchandising, and the second is salesmanship. First, you have to make sure that your used games are cleanly displayed for your guests to pick up and look at. You need to make sure that they're in alphabetical order so that they're easy to find. And you got to keep them priced right so that your guests can see the great value that used games represent. You want to merchandise the used product um, to make it look brand new um, because the customer is on the sales floor. Um, they see the product and you know they're going to make that comparison. Most people think used, they think hand me down, they think like it's not going to work. Well, we like to ensure to our guests that we really pitch the fact that we have the guarantee on the game. And we ensure all the customers that they are guaranteed because we check them ourselves, make sure the cases and the games are right, making sure there's no cracks in them. For me personally, if I can get my used games to look perfect, be organized, be in stock, there's nothing better than that. The second aspect is salesmanship. The value used games should help them sell themselves, but sometimes guests need a little extra reassurance. Talk to them about the 90-day quality guarantee that we offer against defects to reduce their fears that the game might not work when they get it home. If they still have doubts, let them try it out in the store on your interactive before they take it home, just so they can make doubly sure. Well, I let them know that first thing, anytime you buy a used game, the guarantee is the most important part. 90% of customers that come in the stores, their first comment is used games don't work. With our 90-day guarantee, not only do we guarantee that you guys will go home with a working game, but if you have a problem with your game, you come back to us, we'll actually fix it for you or replace it with another disc. We've got a disc buff machine. We can take out your scratches. We've got sandpaper we can take onto it. We can polish it up, make it look brand spanking new. We even run a test for you on the game. 
and then we'll hit you up with the MVP price. You're gonna save, you get 90 days instead of seven on your used games. It's a no brainer, you let the guests know that hey, you're gonna get a better warranty, you're gonna get more money savings, and you're gonna, you know, if you buy this new game, you're just paying for the shrink wrap, $15 for, for the shrink wrap. One, one person's uh, trash is another person's treasure. A lot of people think just because they have used games or you know, if they want to bring in their trades that uh, maybe it's not worth anything. So when they bring in their trades, they basically, oh, no, nah, it's not worth anything. And they find out that the very next person that comes in is like, oh, I've never seen this game or I'm looking for this game for years and I finally found it. Next up is the trade cycle. Used games have to come from somewhere and that somewhere is your guest. Remember that used game that your guest paid $40 for? Well, what if they could buy that used game without ever taking any cash out of their pocket? It's a pretty easy sell, right? When guests bring in their games to trade with us, they receive store credit that they can use to buy anything in the store. Credit values vary, but generally speaking, the newer the game, the more the game is worth. And the more trade credit that the guest receives, the less they have to spend out of pocket. Figures show that guests spend about 30% more when they can pay for part of their purchases with trades. That gives you two ways to win with trades. Guests buy more, and you get more used inventory to sell. How do you keep that trade cycle going? It all comes down to guest education. You have to ask every guest, every time, if they have any games to trade. By introducing them to the trade cycle early and often, you'll get them into the habit. But they won't get into the habit unless you help them get there. Hey, letting the guests know the trade value on games, letting them know that if they got games just sitting around that they're not playing anymore at home, they need to get those in so we can, we can best utilize their money and get them something that they do want. It is all about educating the guests. Uh, the, the sooner that they trade in their games, the more money that they're going to be getting. We can use those savings to get them to get more products, walk out with a, a used game, walk out with an accessory, walk out with more pre-orders, possibly even sign up for our MVP card. Trades are very important to any game crazy business. And to if you educate the guests on the trades, you're going to get more trades back. One of the best ways to do it is every time you sell a game, you let them know the trade value on that game as it stands right now. If you let them know the, the trade value as it sticks in their mind, it's one of the last things that they do. Hey, when you, get, you, know, when you let the guest go, you thank them by name, and then say, hey, when you get done with that game, trade that back in so I can get you that X amount of dollars back. Next to our partners, used games are the biggest difference between us and our competition. Big box retailers can't offer trades, and other specialty game retailers can't do it better than us. Hi, Mark here to talk to you about the MVP program here at Game Crazy. So, we've talked a bit about why buying used games is great for both sides of the counter, and why trades are vitally important, both to our guest pocketbook and to our store's profitability. The MVP card takes both of those great opportunities for our guests, and it turbocharges them. We know, too, that being an MVP card member is a little bit more than just having a card in your wallet. But how do you convince your guests that they want to join this club? It seems relatively easy. Guests get a 10% discount on their used games, which takes your low use prices and makes them even lower. And they get 10% extra value for trades. It seems like an easy sell, right? Well, that's because it is. But it's all in the way you explain it to your guests. The best way to educate the guests on the MVP program is just to tell them about it. Let them know that, hey, you walk in, this is what you can save. Show a visual on a game that's $49.99. Show them that they have an opportunity to save $5 on that game. And $5 is half the price of the MVP card alone. So, you know, right there, the savings are there. If they get two games in an entire year, it's worthwhile. I tell them the benefit of the MVP program. I tell them, bam, for a full year, you come into any of our game crazies, we're going to save you money off all our used games and accessories, get your extra credit every time you trade with us, as well as a disc buff card. Customer comes in, wants to pick up a brand new uh, game of Uncharted for the PS3. Okay, that's $59.99. I would love to sell them a brand new game for $59.99, but I would rather just save them money with a used game for $49.99. And with the MVP card, you're saving $5 right off the bat. That means that you can buy the MVP card and the used game of Uncharted for even less than the price of a brand new game. Selling an MVP isn't a pitch in the traditional sense. It's more of an education process. First, you have to educate your guest on the value of used games and how they can help your guests save money. Second, we have to educate them about the value of trade dollars and how they can help your guests spend less cash. And finally, we have to educate them on how the MVP takes both of those great principles and makes them even greater. MVPs aren't just great for the guests, though. 
we know that the average MVP guest spends almost eight times as much as a non-MVP guest every year. And they'll visit us six times more during the course of that year. These guests are extraordinarily valuable to us. And the guests are saving money with each visit. It's a win-win for both you and for your guests. Sure, you'll hear objections. It comes with the job, but it's how you overcome these objections that will determine how successful you are at saving your guests money by selling them MVP cards. The secret to the perfect MVP transaction is, is just simple. It's all about excitement. If you walk up to a customer and you're like, hey, how's it going? You want to buy the MVP? I tell you, I cannot tell you how many customers will just will, will take that attitude and they'll, they'll take it for their own. They'll utilize it and they'll just be like, oh, no, I'm good. But if you go up, hey, man, how's it going? Let me tell you about this program. It's, you're going to love it. And the first thing you say to the guest is, I'm going to hook you up, I'm going to take care of you, or I'm going to save you money. We'll get you the MVP, we'll get you set up, we'll take care of you. You come back and see us, I'll remember you, I'll remember your face, I'll remember your name, and, and we'll be set, and you'll, you'll enjoy shopping here every time. Personally, for me, when you come into a Game Crazy store, we make you feel like one of our friends, one of our the people that we care about. So when you come in and we're offering you something, it's not because we're trying to get you to buy something extra, it's because we're trying to save you the money in the long run, where you can count on us to provide you what you need, especially with our MVP program. The easiest way to overcome any objection is to simply talk about the money that your guests will save. The average guest saves more than three times the price of the card over the course of their year-long membership. That's a tremendous value and one that's extraordinarily difficult to duplicate anywhere else. The bottom line is MVP members generate huge value for Game Crazy and MVP members generate huge value for themselves. Who wouldn't want to join that club? Hey everybody, Mark here. Do you know one great way to guarantee a guest will come back to your store? When a guest pre-orders a game from Game Crazy, they're committing their purchase to you. And by securing these purchases, you help more than just that one guest. The Game Crazy buyers use active pre-order numbers to determine how many copies we're going to buy of that game and how many we'll send to your store. So what's an active pre-order? Simple. It's the total number of pre-orders minus redemptions before release. We know that guests change their minds and we take that into account. But for every active pre-order that you have, we'll send you about one and a half pieces of product. So not only do your pre-order guests win, so do your walk-in guests. The more active pre-orders you have, the more games you'll have for your other guests. Well, for buyers, pre-orders help us determine what products our guests are the most interested in and allow us to invest our company's money into those titles. Purchasing is just like managing a checkbook ledger. You have a finite amount of money to work with, and you have to be smart when it comes to prioritizing your spending. Purchasing too much of the wrong things ties up money that could have been used to purchase more of the right things. Because stores only have a finite amount of space to display product, sending too much or too little of any product provides unnecessary challenges to that store. Pre-orders are the key to finding the right balance. So, pre-orders help the buyers make better choices. But how can you make sure that you and your store get more of the product you need to satisfy your guests' needs? A pre-order designates a guest's intent to make a purchase. The more pre-orders a particular game has sends a very strong signal that there's demand for product in that location. Pre-orders ensure that that product will be there and that a guest doesn't have to be disappointed. Use the tools in your store to get your guests excited about upcoming games. The new release lithos. The master release schedule the magazines that you sell in your store, your fellow partners, and your guests. These are all great resources to use to gather the knowledge you need to be successful. The best way to educate yourself on new upcoming titles is, is to read about them. First the things first, the, the Game Crazy provides you with magazines. You can look at Game Pro, uh, PSN, Xbox Magazine. You can go with EGM, it's a great magazine. PlayStation Magazine, official Xbox Magazine, um, Game Pro. Uh, there's tons of online sites. I mean, it's just a really good time to be a gamer. Pre-orders are the lifeblood of the business. If you don't get pre-orders, you don't get trades, you don't get MVPs, you don't get people coming back into your store. So it's quite important to get your guests to pre-order games first because you're guaranteeing they're going to come back in your store. The main thing is just being aware of what your customers' needs are. 
When you know that, it's going to be simple to add on any pre-order because the customer, when they trust you, will believe in what you're trying to let them know about. Pre-orders drive many aspects of your business, from new releases to trade to used. It's in your hands and just takes $5 down to make it happen. Hey everybody, Mark here. Besides used games, you know the best way to help your store make more money? It's the same way to enhance your guest gaming experience and make sure that they have everything that they need to make their purchase complete. Yep, we're talking about accessories. Gone are the days of game systems coming with everything in the box that they need to get fired up right away. There are just too many choices and guests have too many different needs. But that's where you come in. Some guests need extra controllers so that the whole family can play. Some guests need an extra memory card so that they can take their football team over to a buddy's house for the big game. But no matter what they need, you can ask the right questions to make sure that your guests make the right choice. So, how do you know what the right questions are to ask? It's as simple as just asking questions. You know, you start the dialogue with them, and they pretty much will let you know their environment and how they play. Just ask some questions, whether they're playing Xbox Live, whether they're playing Sony Online, if they're playing, if they have the Wii, uh, Wii you know, play online on the Wii, or whether they're just going to go home and play with a bunch of buddies and they need another controller, something along those lines. So I just ask questions to see what they're going to be doing with this game. You have them as a lifer. I mean, they'll come back to you all the time for all the knowledge, all the games. If they need an extra controller, they're going to come see Cheyenne at Game Crazy because, you know what, he told me about my Wii system. He told me about the great used games that they have to offer. Plus, now they're members with us if we do get them on the MVP program. There's nothing else better than that. Set them up for a pre-order next time. I mean, it's good to go. Golden. See, it's all about education. Once a guest understands why a second controller or a strategy guide or a memory card helps them have more fun when they play, the rest is easy. To ensure that your guests have the perfect gaming experience, you need to make sure that their purchases are protected. GameGuard and service contracts offer exactly that peace of mind. Imagine that you purchase a game and you take it home to play it. Fast forward 30 hours into the game and you're just about to level up enough to beat the final boss. And then it happens. Your brother feeds the game to the dog. Your mom has a candle party and she uses the game as a drink coaster. And now what do you do? Well, with GameGuard, you don't have to worry. For a buck or two, you can protect your investment for a full year. What it's going to do for the guests is it's going to guarantee that their disc works for an entire year. I mean, you can't beat that. For one to three bucks, I mean, it's cheap, it's inexpensive for the guests to guarantee it. It's better than 50 that they're going to have to pay or whatever price they paid for that game initially to replace it. Let me know if anything happens to if they break it, scratch it, didn't it, chew on it. They bring it in, we get you another copy brand new, no, no questions asked. For an entire year, it's going to cover if it gets broken, cracked, scratched, anything like that. You're going to be able to bring it back into the store and get your game replaced. Plus, you don't drive a car without insurance, so why would you do the same with a game? Service contracts for your video game hardware work along the same lines as GameGuard. While we won't cover a system that's taken a swan dive off the top of your entertainment center, we will cover manufacturer's defects after the original factory warranty period is over. In many cases, this affords our guests a second or third year of protection on the most valuable piece of equipment in any gamer's arsenal, their console. I think it's really important when you're about to sell a system, you've got to, first thing you got to talk about is a service contract because you don't want a customer being able to get their mindset on all these different games that they would like to play and then be, I want these games, and then to come to find out they'd have to fork out more money that they don't have or they didn't budget for, for a service contract. If something does go wrong with it, pop back down to our store, we'll swap it out right in front of your eyes. It goes like that. Whether it's a new or used console, it's all new technology, so why not spend a fraction of the cost to protect your investment? Different gamers play in different ways, which is why we offer such a wide variety of accessories and services to our guests. By asking the right questions, you can get the right choices into your guests' hands, and at the same time, you can help ensure that they have the ultimate gaming experience. You've just seen and heard from the experts at Game Crazy. Their message is all about the tools you have to deliver great service, provide added value, and build loyal guests who want the Game Crazy experience. Let's face it, people in the market for games, consoles, and accessories have a lot of choices, from discount chains to big box retail, from online outlets to other game specialty stores. 
but why should they choose to shop at Game Crazy? Better yet, why should they choose to shop with you? As you've seen today, we have a selection of programs and services that are easy to sell, that benefit the guest, and that give us our niche in the game marketplace that helps define the Game Crazy brand. But at the end of the day, the true Game Crazy experience is defined by you. You are Game Crazy. Your smile, your positive attitude, your game knowledge, your desire to help and to always put the guest first. These are the things that matter and where Game Crazy blows away the competition. The Game Crazy experience all starts with you. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Where's my M&M's? When you tell them... Uh... Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>